All right, what's up guys? Welcome to our getaway plan and this is the top 20 things you need to know if you're renting a trailer with outdoorsy or RV share. Make sure if you like this video, you thumbs it up and also subscribe to the channel. Thumbs it up. Thumbs up the channel and subscribe as well. Also hit that uh, bell at the bottom so you can see all the updates that we have coming up. Uh, lots of stuff. 20 things. It's a lot, I know, but guess what? You're going to need to know all the stuff if you plan on renting your trailer and making some money on the side for your investment. So here we go. All right. Number one, posting ads. All right. So if you're going to post an ad, you need to know your rates. Figure out what other trailers like yours are going for rent wise per day in your area or even in the country. Uh, you might have a trailer that everybody's renting theirs for $60. Well, you can't rent it for a hundred bucks. So you have to kind of go accordingly to what is in your area more specifically than in the nation. But if you don't have a lot in your area, go bigger, but make sure your prices are comparable to what else is out there. Also, when you're posting your ads, make sure you do your add-ons, dump fee, propane fee, uh, delivery and setup. If you're cool with uh, you taking your trailer to wherever these people are, setting it up for them, drive them back. When they're done, you go out there, pick the trailer up, make sure everything's all good and drive it home. It's a little bit of peace of mind and they'll actually pay you for it. Your pictures. Make sure you have really good pictures and don't take flat pictures. Don't take the side of your trailer. Take it at an angle. Think about if you're posting your trailer on Instagram. You want those cool pictures. Don't know filters, but you want those angled pictures to make your trailer look cool, look sexy, make it look like, man, that is an awesome thing. I want to rent that trailer. In your description, make sure that you put in there what your trailer has, what your experiences have been in the trailer. Basically just tell a story explaining to people what they can expect if they rent your trailer because of past experiences you've had or other people have had that have rented your trailer before. But in that description, make sure that people are aware of what you are all about and what your trailer is all about. Make sure you set up your booking criteria. You might not want kids in your trailer. You might not want pets in your trailer. You might not want smokers. You might not want festival people. There's lots of little criteria that you can set up to help weed out the renters that, oh, we're going to a festival, so we're going to try and find a festival one. That ain't your trailer. That's somebody else's because you want to keep yours nice. So make sure you look at all those things, including rates, add-ons, pictures, descriptions, and setting up booking criteria. Number two, doing price research. This kind of goes back to the last one, but make sure you do your pricing research. It's super important. You don't want to underprice your trailer and say, oh, I'm going to rent it for $50 a night because you're really not going to make any money in the long run. So make sure you price it accordingly so you're making money, the people think they get a good value, and in the end, it's a win for both of you guys. But make sure you look around at not just outdoorsy, not just RV share. Look at how much your trailer might be selling for at a dealership. That will give you an idea of what your trailer is worth compared to other trailers like yours. Numero tres, taking good profile pictures. Again, I said it before in the posting ads, but pictures are super important. Make sure you have good lighting. Always take pictures outside in good lighting. Try to make sure it's not an overcast day. If you know somebody that's a good photographer, say, hey man, come on over and take some pictures of my trailer because I'm trying to do it. Make sure you get the inside. Make sure you get the outside. Make sure you get things like even the refrigerator on the inside on the inside so they can see how big your refrigerator is or your bathroom, because maybe you have a wet bath, maybe you have a regular bath, maybe you have a full queen bed, maybe you have an RV queen, but make sure people see all the cool stuff that your trailer has, and make sure you take it at good angles with good lighting. Number four, listing and charging for add-ons. Make sure you put your add-ons, like propane, dump fees, setup, etc., in that section rather than in your description. Just in the description, tell people about the trailer. When they decide, yeah, we want to do this, then they go, oh man, I don't know how much propane I'm going to use. Well, I'm going to click that because I don't know. So make sure that your add-ons are elsewhere and price them accordingly. Don't expect someone to go, oh, okay, I'm going to rent this trailer. And then when they see a dump fee and they're like, uh, okay, it's a hundred bucks. Nope, not doing that. I'm going to go to the next trailer. Make it affordable enough that they see, well, I could do this. I've never done it before. I don't want to touch poo. Because, let's be honest, a lot of people think that there's a lot of poo touching involved when they do a, a, your gray tank, black tank dump. There's not. But make it affordable and make it make them think, yeah, that's just less that I have to worry about. 
So propane fees, a beach fee even. I mean, if you're, tra if you're near the ocean like we are, we're only an hour away. They could take to the, to the beach, but when they come back, trust me, there's a lot of sand in here. So maybe they need a beach fee because they're going to the, to the beach. You know, your propane again, your dump fee. Uh, delivery and setup, that one is so big and so easy and it's such a good peace of mind. Make sure you keep your add-on separate so when they've already decided they want it, they can add that stuff on later. Number five, to rent or not to rent? Is there a question? I mean, it comes down to, do you want to rent your trailer or do you not want to rent your trailer? There's a lot of people that, that this thing is sacred to them. I look at it as an investment, and if I can have someone else pay my investment for me, that's a good investment. Because let's be honest, how many times a year are you going to go camping in your trailer? I live in Oregon. I think we went eight times last year. That's once a month, every month that we could, because this is a three-season trailer, so we're not going December, January, February, sort of, kind of, even November. So you're really... Eight times is probably the most most people are going to go unless you're in SoCal or you're in Texas, someplace you could go get away with year round on a three season. But I mean, think about the investment. The, the risk versus reward is definitely worth the reward. Number six, reviewing your ad. Make sure once you're done with your ad, you look at it, your partner looks at it and get somebody that's probably not even going to rent your trailer, like your buddy Bill. Get him to you know look at your ad and go, hey man, does this look right? Would you rent this for me? And he might be like, hey, I don't understand what this means. You know, what is this? And you can figure stuff out by people that don't know anything about trailers that they can look at it and go, well, I'm, mm -hmm. and you can adjust accordingly so that people that are renting your trailers, for the most part, don't really know a lot about trailers. So you can't expect them to know you know, that you have two 6-volt batteries running series versus two 12-volt batteries, or your solar panel is uh, 160 watt and you have a 1300 watt inverter, people are just going to go, that's Greek, man, I don't know. So try and keep it simple. So review your ad and have someone that's not related to the trailer review the ad as well. All right, that was part one of 20 things you need to know when renting your RV through our Dorsey or RV Share. If you want to see part two, make sure you look it up and find it. Part two, probably part three coming up. Make sure you thumbs up the channel, subscribe, hit the bell, and we'll see you for part two.